Hi, my name is Martha. I've been a volunteer at the Harvard Museum of Natural History for almost seven years. I've spent a lot of time in the Earth and Planetary Science Gallery. I was drawn to this gallery in particular because I have been a rock and fossil enthusiast my entire life, starting with collecting rocks and fossils on the shore of Lake Michigan where I grew up. Though the entire gallery speaks to the wonders of nature, it is this bedazzling specimen that elicits immediate reactions of awe and a lot of photo taking. This impressive 1600 pound amethyst geode comes from Brazil. Geodes are solid on the outside and hollow on the inside, containing crystals that have formed over time. The geodes we are talking about today are igneous, meaning they formed in areas with volcanic activity. Scientists are still debating the exact mechanisms of how geodes form, but they have agreed on the overall process. Around 135 million years ago, extensive lava flows covered the southern part of Brazil. You can imagine the lava flows typical of the active Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, but much, much bigger. Gases within the lava formed bubbles. As the lava hardened into a rock called basalt, the bubbles were captured inside. Over the next millions of years, mineral rich water passed over the basalt, seeped through the microscopic holes and deposited minerals inside the spaces left by the bubbles. In this smaller geode, you can easily see evidence of holes where the liquid was able to sneak through the outside rock shell. Let's take a closer look at our gigantic geode. The outer layer is a mineral called saladinite, which is named from the French word saladon, meaning sea green. Over time, the mineral rich waters actually changed the basalt into a saladinite shell. The geode filled in with crystals layer after layer as the liquid continued to pass through the rock. The first inside layer is chalcedony, a quartz with small crystals. The large hexagonal crystals are also quartz, which can form in many different colors, depending on the chemical present. In this geode, they are clear and then become purple, called amethyst. Small amounts of iron cause the purple color. This geode was found in a shallow mine of volcanic basalt full of large geodes like this specimen. They are extracted manually by miners, sometimes with dynamite. A drill is used to make a small hole in the geode into which a camera is inserted. If they are particularly beautiful, they are transported by wheelbarrow or truck to a place where they are sliced in half and then shipped all over the world. Perhaps you have attempted to crack open a geode, though probably not one this large. Nature is fickle and unpredictable. Geodes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are incredibly valuable and some cost less than $20. When the museum reopens, Come visit and be bedazzled by this gorgeous geode and see if you can find other geodes in the Earth and Planetary Science Gallery.